Hi everyone, I'm Modern Mulan. This video is going to be a quick follow-up on our Pirate X Pirate AMA session. On that AMA session, which will be linked here and in the description box, we basically covered everything that you needed to know before investing in Pirate X Pirate. But there were some topics like game review, their current short-term priorities, like their February game plan, and their IDO details na hindi natin na share during that AMA. So today, we'll try to cover all of those and give you some additional information regarding the project. So let's jump right in sa kanilang website. Let me show you immediately yung kanilang gameplay. So we promised during the AMA na ipapakita natin yon, but during that time, they were still developing it, and yung mga screenshots pa lang yung pinakita nila. But this time, we actually have a sample gameplay na. So, at least I think this way makikita na natin kung ano yung game. Mas ma-appreciate na natin siya. And hopefully, we get a better understanding of its gameplay. So again, before we jump into that, yung mga details like tokenomics, the different ways to earn their token, how to start, and all of that, we've discussed those sa AMA natin. So hindi natin babagitin dito. Just the things na hindi pa natin na cover doon. Alright, so let's jump right ahead sa kanilang gameplay. We're talking about PvP and PvE na at this point. Sa PXP, para makapag-start tayo, di ba, we're going to be needing at least one ship or one ship NFT. So with one ship, meron siyang six dices in total. So each dice will have the faces of the following. So meron tayong cannon for attack, merong ship's wheel for maneuverability, hammer for heal and defense, barrel for the status effect, Skull for wild or special card siya, parang ganon. So with those six dices, magkakaroon tayo ng three faces. The first one is roll face, so we have to roll the dice. The second one is skill face. And the third one is battle face. So let's start with the roll face. Let me show you a clip of their gameplay and then papakita natin kung ano ba yung gagawin natin dito sa roll face. So ayun na nga, each turn natin magsistart siya with the roll face. So sa face na to, i-roll nga natin yung 6 dices. And then yung mga to, pwede natin i-reroll 2 more times. But sa first reroll natin, so ayan, yung mga pinili niya, yung mga lumabas, you can click those. Pipiliin nyo kung ano ilalock nyo na skill, di ba? We mentioned kung ano yung mga skill na available. So yan, pipili kayo and then eventually, yun yung magiging choices natin dun sa baba for the skill phase. In their white paper, so meron sila nakalagay na tip dito, sabi, The strategy is to look at the skill you want to use first and see which dice you prefer to keep to activate such skills. So to summarize, para mas madaling maintindihan, mag-roll ka ng dice, tapos kung ano yung lalabas, pipili kayo sa mga possible skills na pwede nyo gamitin and doon, i-click niya yan, malalock siya and then you roll the dice again hanggang sa makomplete nyo yung number of skill cards na pwede nyo pagpilian then after the roll phase, we move to the skill phase now, dito naman sa skill phase ayan, so pipili naman tayo kung ano yung actual na gagamitin natin or i-activate natin para sa next phase which is battle so yan, ayan, nakikita natin kung ipili siya sa ating video and then yung ship part will provide unique skills. So, we've covered uh, a bit more of this in detail dun sa AMA natin. So, again, if you haven't seen that yet at medyo nawawala pa kayo or hindi nyo ganun naiintindihan, I recommend that you watch that first. Again, nakalink po yan sa ating description box. So, yan, nakalagay din dito na a skill will require a certain number of faces from the rolled dice to activate. So, let's give a concrete example para mas maintindihan nyo siya. So, example lang to ha, hindi ito yung definite na kailangan talaga. But example nga, itong heal 25% of max HP. So bago lumabas itong skill card na to, or bago natin siya pwedeng ma-activate at gamitin sa battle, kailangan mong ma-roll the dice yung heal option ng at least dalawang beses or tatlong beses, ganun. Bago mapunta sa choices mo itong heal card na to. So basically, ganun lang siya. Sa battle phase, ayan. So kapag nakapili na tayo, of course, yung skills na yon yung gagamitin natin for battle. So, this is applicable nga for PvP and PvE. So, after both players have confirmed the skills, battle phase will commence. So, as we know, kapag na-start na natin, halimbawa parang equivalent na yung end turn. So, after you do that, di ba, mag-start na na may animation, maglaban na sila, and then magagamit na yung skills na pinili natin. So, nakalagay din dito sa white paper, all the skills will be resolved by order of their speed, not in this demo version. So, hindi lang nakalabas yan ngayon, pero 
may mga skill set din sila. So again, we're a bit familiar na sa ganitong klase ng gameplay. So I'm sure medyo nagigets niya kung paano siya nag-work. So after noon, the turn ends, tapos the face will go back to roll face, tapos mag-start kayo ulit, mag-roll the dice, and then um, magkasunod-sunod na ulit yan. So basically, ayan yung mga information na naka-release regarding their gameplay. As promised, we you guys wanted a video on this, that's why we're covering it. So maglalagay nga tayo ng additional details regarding their February goals, kung ano yung mga pwede nating ma-expect sa kanila, especially this February 2022, and of course, yung mga IDO dates nila. So, naupunta tayo sa kanilang medium, and then sinipin natin yung kanilang short-term goals, kung ano ba yung pinafocus nila, especially for this February 2022. If you're watching this at a later time, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on these important updates for the gameplays or for the play-to-earn games na lumalabas ngayon. So yan, going back, nandito nga tayo sa kanilang medium. Ito yung kanilang February plan updates. So they actually have a lot. February is going to be a big month for PXP. Tapos mamaya ko cover natin din yung kanilang IDO dates. So marami din yun. But let's start with this one. So for February 4 to 6, um, they already announced na yung PXP private sales for the FD owners. Ayan. And then 6 to 12, PXP private sales naman for their community. So if you have been following them sa kanilang social media accounts, they also announced these earlier. If you're also not following them yet and you're interested in the project, nakalink po yan sa ating description box so that you don't have a hard time looking for their social media accounts. At marami rin pong mga scammer na mga social media ngayon. So please be careful, make sure na legit po yung mga pinafollow ninyo. Okay, pero tapos na yun, ba? Yung 4 to 12. Well, those are done na. Now, what can we expect now and hanggang end of February? So, we have here from Feb 14 to 19, PXP public sales for the community naman. So, if you weren't able to join yung kanilang mga private sales, maybe you can hop in here. Personally, before, nag-invest ako with private sales, but as I've shared sa mga recent videos natin, because of the current market sentiment, medyo mas nag-iingat na ako. I usually wait for the marketplace, for the gameplay, ganyan. But of course, nasa sa inyo pa rin yan on how you want to invest your money. I would really appreciate it and I think a lot of people would appreciate it too. Kung meron kayong current game player strategy sa pag invest ngayon, lalo na, di ba, medyo nakakatakot dahil ang gulo ng Bitcoin and ng market. So, comment yan sa comment section and then pag-usapan natin so we can help each other out. But, ayun nga, that's my strategy and if you have something else, I would really love to hear about it sa comment section natin. So going back, eto. So for February 20 onwards, ang kanilang plan na is pancake swap listing. So eto hindi pa naka-specific kung anong date talaga because ayun nga dahil sa current market sentiment, no, we see this sa maraming projects na nagpo-push back sila ng listing date nila. Kasi timing is very very important din sa ating market, no? Um naniniwala ko na kahit gaano kalaki yung project, kahit gaano kaganda yan, kung pangat yung timing, di ba? Hindi niya ma-reach yung potential niya. So again, just follow them sa kanilang social to be posted for this one. Now for 22 to 24, we can expect yung captain and crew sales na for FD owners to prepare for the beta testing of the game. So I'll try to reach out again to CEO nila kung possible na makapag-try tayo ng beta test. If you guys are interested in that, please let me know para ma-push natin yan sa kanila. Ayan. So maybe you can also help me uh, pwede kayo mag-request if you guys want me to do a review for that one. Maybe pwede kayo mag-message sa Telegram and specifically request for me, di ba? And then, for February 25 to 27 naman, we have the beta test launch. Ayan. Now, as for the actual beta testing, lalabas naman yan or ilo-launch nila on February 25 to 27. Kahit na beta test pa lang siya, yung mga ma-earn natin na gold tokens from that ay pwede nang i-trade. So, tradable na sila. And then after that, so February 18 naman, ang launch ng kanilang marketplace. Tapos, meron dito, the things or the NFTs na we can buy from their marketplace are yung regular ship, yung captain, and yung crew sale. If you want to know more about these NFTs, you can either watch ngayong AMA natin or just read through their white 
paper. So aside from that, another exciting phase is yung phase 1 launch nila. So that's definitely something to keep an eye out. So kung nasa watch list nyo rin yung PXP, I think it's important na updated kayo sa mga ganitong klase. So like I said, ako hinihintay ko muna yung mga marketplace and gameplay. So personally, dito muna talaga ako papasok around Feb 28 and then um, maghihintay tayo ng mga ibang updates pa nila. So aside from their short-term goals, now as for the PXP token IDO, so we've mentioned na nasa public sale phases na sila, di ba? So ito yung mga important dates na baka gusto yung i-block sa calendar ninyo if you want to participate sa kanilang IDO nga. So February 14, ang kadate nyo for their IDO ng PXP is Yay Games. And then we have Bin Starter for the 18th. We also have Game Starter, Moon Starter, and Babylons. Ayan. And then for the last IDO na naka-schedule is February 19 for Gem Guardian. Ayan. At the moment, yan lang yung mga updates since our interview with the CEO. Um, if there are any more updates, tapos kung gusto nyo nang gumawa tayo or ituloy-tuloy natin yung videos covering PXP, again, just please let me know sa ating comment section if you're interested in this. Or if you're interested in another project, you could also let me know dyan sa ating comment section and then I will happily do it for you. Now, while we're waiting for more announcements sa kanila, so you can keep watching and learning about crypto mapa other player and games yan trading or other crypto related projects napakaram nating videos covering a variety of topics just for you now if you're overwhelmed and you don't know where to start i've got you covered pumili tayo ng dalawang videos that i think you'll enjoy the most so let me know sa mga videos yon kung galing kayo sa specific video na to sa pxp video natin i think it'll just be fun to know kung saan kayo nagagaling or kung paano nyo nahanap yung channel natin anyway that's it for me today Thank you so much for watching. If you want to reach me outside of YouTube, you guys can say hi sa Facebook natin, Instagram, TikTok, and we also have Twitter and Discord na ngayon. Nakalink po lahat yan sa ating description box and pinned comment section. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope to talk to you sa comment section natin and see you on our next videos. Bye!